Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Rechah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopefully elect. It's the brother Isaiah, you with the Pittsburgh Team Miss Camp. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Rechah HaKodash. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This lesson is edifying. And I uh, just had a thought while I was walking. Walking the dog, so he's not fully trained, so it could end at any minute if he gets out of hand. So just a heads up, because he's still, like I said, not trained. Sit. Good boy, come on. I had a thought, though. Scripture came to my mind. It says, be not. It says, and say not. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. And there's more to that scripture. You know, there's a there's more to it where it says, uh, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. It may be a precept, it may not be in that same area, but it might be. And it says, it goes on to say, wherever it is, and say not, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. You know, and other precepts come to mind, like Isaiah 30, you know, the rebellious children. Which cover with a covering that is not of my spirit, okay? That they may add sin unto sin. You see, the thing is, that one scripture that I quoted where it says, and say not, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. That scripture is what, uh, let me say, that mindset, the, the mindset that the scripture just told you not to have, is the mindset that the Christian churches preach. The Christian church preaches you to you to say grace to say which you know the scriptures do say it is by grace through faith we are saved and not of our own the Bible does say that right but at the same time people like to abuse it you see yeah the Bible says that but are you supposed to be my soul minded when it comes to continual sin, okay, is that a good conscience towards the Most High, where you do things and you just continue to do them because there's grace. You know, what do I got to worry about? That's what grace is for. I'll leave it up to that. I'm not gonna worry about what uh. Why should I? Why should I burden myself with, with preaching the? You know, with, with keeping the commandments. You know, and that's what that one dude was saying, right? That one, that one proud ass pastor who uh, brothers did lessons on him. You know, he was saying to himself as the as the man was reading, <laughs> as the man was reading the precept that said, uh, what was he reading? He said, the law was not made for the righteous. And uh, the law was made for the ungodly and the sinner, roughly paraphrasing, right? And uh, as the dude was reading it, you could hear the proudness and the reactions of uh, of that pastor, right? Sit, sit. You could hear the proudness and the reaction of that pastor as he was saying, um, oh, he was making that noise like, oh, I can't even read. I can't. It was so high pitched, man, and annoying that I can't recreate it. But he he made this noise come out of his mouth as to say. I got you niggas. Look at the scripture he's reading. I got you niggas. And at the end of it, he said what? He said, and you want me to keep the 12 commandments. You want me to keep the, you want me to worry about keeping the 12 commandments. You know, I need to make this quick anyway, because I don't have a lot of storage. But this is why it's important for the apocrypha to be there, because it said to you, all right? And say not, he will be pacified. For the multitude of my sins so we're approaching another dog and this dog is gonna have a, a hissy fit and you know they're gonna eat a mite or something so i'm gonna end it here lord uh, lord willing you were edified shalom